what do you think about scoliosis? You grew up with a mom with scoliosis. I didn't have this type of an issue, like my, none of my parents had chronic pain that I know of. So how has it affected you? Because honestly, having scoliosis, a scoliosis parent or a parent who goes through chronic pain, um, that would affect your family as well. <laughs> Don't take this personally, <laughs> but it's, it's really frustrating living with someone with scoliosis because you always hear about it, number one. Number two, they're not able to always, it's kind of like a disability, so like they're not always able to like do physical things because their back hurts or like their head hurts or whatever as much. Or you'll be in the middle of something and they'll get a, like she'll get a migraine or something. And oh yeah, that's so, another symptom. I get migraines from it. Yeah, it's really frustrating when you're just trying to like go about your day and do something and you just have to stop because <laughs> like her back hurts. Like it's not her fault, but it is frustrating that like it's like a constant thing like all day long. It's I understand something your happening with it. Like yeah, because like I don't know, it just makes things harder because you have to like. I don't know. It's it's like we're all dealing with it with her. Not to say that like it's harder for us because we're not the ones in pain or whatever. But like, you know, if we're walking or doing something, like it's always a struggle because, you know, it could be a bad back day for her. And like we don't really know like what to do about it because like, well, I mean, we can't really sympathize because like we don't know what it feels like. And we also can't really like, we don't know what to do about it, you know, because there's not, like, really something you can do. Sometimes medicine doesn't even help her, so then you just you have to, like, leave her alone, you know, and let her rest. Um, I, listen, I understand their frustration. Um, I get frustrated even with myself because I, it hurts me knowing that I'm the cause that they have to, I'm the reason they have to stop doing the fun thing that they're doing, and it makes me really sad that I can't continue on or whatever, um, I, I really hate that. I mean, especially as a mom, it's really hard to, you know, to make you guys have to stop doing something that you're having fun doing. Also, we just got back from a week vacation in Tennessee and, you know, going to a touristy area, you do a lot of walking and we did a lot of walking and it was hard. Honestly, it was hard on all of us, the walking, not just me. I'm an asthmatic. And she's an asthmatic, but... Uh, if I'm being honest and they could disagree with me, I don't know, but I feel like for the amount of walking we did in the hills and things like that and steps, um, I didn't do too bad, really. Yeah, I think because she was so excited about the trip and she had medicine and stuff, like, she was able to, like, do it. I think what really got to us was just, like, the heat, though. <laughs> like yeah. I think more so than your back we were all just so tired of walking like all of us were tired of walking because it was so hot and stuff and like when you wanted to sit down on a bench because of your back we all wanted to sit down on the bench too because we were tired of walking so it wasn't that bad yeah the only thing is by like what day three or four I was like fine we can walk this area but and, and I'll be fine as long as you all walk really slow with me. Because I felt a little better walking slow. It didn't hurt as bad. But they all want to be speed walkers. <laughs> and that's when it would hurt because I have to walk fast with them. But I was like, if I walk slowly, it's not as bad and I can handle it. But they yeah. all wanted to go fast. And then there, there was one day that I, I had completely overdid it and I just couldn't move anymore. I was almost in tears that night. And... I just wanted to die. I mean, I also kind of, like, feel like I understand a little bit because, like, for instance, like, I went on a, I went on a hike with my friend and her mom, and, like, her mom is, like, super, like, good at cardio and stuff, and I, like, with being asthma, you know, I, it's hard for me to keep up, so, like, I understand that, like, I don't want to feel left out, like, I can't keep up with you guys, like, you know, what else was I going to say? Oh, you also have to deal with her insecurities because she always talks about it. Like, no one else really no. I mean, maybe it's different for everyone, but no one else really notices, like, her curve, like, how it looks. But then, like, she's constantly talking about, I'm so insecure, I look so uneven and crooked today. And, you know, that's something you have to, like, 
like um help her with because she gets insecure about that yeah when i'm this is mostly when i'm wearing a tank top it it shows more obviously then or if i see a picture of myself where if i'm standing a certain way two things i'll see this more um from the front or from the back um it's even worse from the back it's like this it's really bad the other thing is with the kyphosis that I have, it's like if someone is standing and facing sideways like this, um, my back curves so inwards right here that in pictures, or if I'm just standing, this comes out further than the normal person. And no matter if I were big or small, thin or large, I look completely fat in the stomach just because my curve is coming in further this way and this is all puffed out. So I feel very, very insecure about that, like really bad. And pictures um, that we take sometimes as a family, I'll either zoom far in on our faces to cut that out, uh, or I just won't, I'll just delete those pictures because it bothers me so much. Um, certain shirts will make that show more and then I'll just, changed my shirt 20 times that day in, in my bedroom trying to find a shirt that makes it not do that that day makes it not look like that that day it's, it's pretty bad but i mean everyone has that one thing savannah has that too when she sees pictures of her own insecurities and she wants to delete those pictures so it's the same just with a different issue but it's not like a medical thing well no so it's not i don't have a reason for it like I, it's a, maybe an anxiety or. But like what I'm thing. saying though is like. There's no medical reason behind your. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's still an insecurity nonetheless. I'm just fat. You're. <sighs> you are not a fat person. Everybody tell her she's not fat. She, is actually a very petite. Yeah, person. I wish. She is only five foot three. If I. I'm not gonna be a model, but if I wanted to go to a modeling agency, they would send me to the plus size. That is the problem with that industry, so we're not even gonna get into that. But Savannah's beautiful. She is gorgeous and sweet, and she is small. Her stomach area is actually smaller than mine, so. Well, you've had th two kids. I almost said it, three. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Also, I think it's because it's her body, so she thinks of it differently, but like, I don't, I also can't speak for everyone else, but at least like me, I don't really notice her shoulders or whatever until she points them out. And when she points them out, then I'm like, I mean, I guess I can see it, but it's not that big of a deal. But like, I don't think people are looking at her like her shoulders are uneven. That's <laughs> everyone though with their insecurity. Like yeah. when I look at you, I literally don't see the things ever that you talk about until you say, Dude, this looks so bad and then like I'm forced to look at what you're looking at you know and but there's to me there's nothing wrong about with it, it. Is. <laughs> no there's nothing wrong with it or or I will see um, I'll play back one of my videos that has her in it and or be editing it or whatever and I'll see her maybe like laugh really hard and in my mind I'm like oh my god she looked so cute when she was laughing right there and I god I wish I had that smile and um you know I, I wish I was as cute as her and then she'll watch the same exact thing and be like oh that is the ugliest thing I've ever <laughs> seen I I laugh so ugly yeah everyone but says to me that it's like so cute she has the cutest smile yeah everyone says it's so important to have a cute smile like that's like the most important like physical feature and I feel like I have the literal ugliest smile ever I disagree so, like yeah. I I have the ugliest smile no your really? laugh lately has been like so cute anyway this video has gone on uh to be things that are not about scoliosis and that is not what I wanted to do but I got the point across about the five most asked questions about scoliosis. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and all of the ramblings that we did afterwards. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button um, and hit like on the video. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye, poopies.